as we like to say in that chemistry show, chemistry is everywhere. Let me show you an example. So here I have a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. You may use hydrogen peroxide for cleaning wounds at home. When you take hydrogen peroxide and you put it on a cut, the blood acts like a catalyst, taking the hydrogen peroxide and breaking that hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen gas. So that's what those little bubbles are. It's the action of a catalyst on hydrogen peroxide. Now this hydrogen peroxide is not the kind of hydrogen peroxide you have at home. It is very, very dangerous. That's why I'm wearing gloves and eye protection. This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some of this into this container. And I'm gonna add a catalyst to the 30% hydrogen peroxide. Now because it's concentrated, the reaction is gonna be vigorous and we're gonna get a lot of oxygen being produced. The catalyst I'm gonna use is a potassium salt. I'm just gonna drop that into the container. So we see the catalyst causes the hydrogen peroxide to break down. It's forming a lot of oxygen. We can see the bubbles form, and we see that it's getting so hot that it's taking the water and turning that into a steam, kind of like a genie coming out of a bottle. 